Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Tuanawag video and I'm in the center island which is also known as the Toronto Island or just the island and this is going to be a video showing some parts of the island so this is a huge island and uh, in today's video I'm just going to be covering a small portion and in the future uh, I plan to do more videos from here and also I'm doing some uh, ambient videos in the future uh, from the same place as well uh, different spots so this is this looks like a park uh, you you'll see that there are mine coaster and some other uh, establishments and uh, but it's totally empty because due to covid uh, no one is actually coming to the island anymore or very few people come here and you can see that it looks like kind of a deserted island uh, and uh, but it's still you know you can see that uh, lots of uh, playgrounds and other establishment but I don't see anyone here except just a few people here and there so if this is your first time here on this channel I'm always trying new and different ideas if that is something you're interested in please visit for more if you're only interested in walk videos there will be links in the description box below so I'm just going to walk from this point up to the ferry dock and then I'm going to show you some scenes so we are facing downtown Toronto which you'll be able to see shortly and you can see that you know there are some looks like houses or empty places but there's no one here so if you come here during regular time there would be a lot of people and it's very crowded and it's hard to believe that you know it looks like this on a weekend due to covid situation so it's a center island water play and you can see some nice shades or looks like you know trees so I'm not sure if this, you know, glow at night. It could be. So we're going to take a small footbridge and right now you can see a bit of downtown Toronto and then you know there's the CN Tower and Rogers Center and I see some photographers here taking pictures actually this is one of the iconic uh, picture taking spots in Toronto and there are lots of like you know nice pictures taken from this place showing the skyline of Toronto so here it looks like we have some sort of rail crossing but uh, the track actually it's very narrow so it looks like these are like you know in the old days probably they were really train or vehicles moving here and you can see that here and then there's a sailing club I see lots of boats here so this is a footbridge I was talking about and you can see that you know we're crossing body of water it's a beautiful day today and it's uh, the temperature is about 10 degree Celsius and this is the end of April but it still looks like you know the winter is not going away we had minus temperatures just a couple of days ago and here you're looking at the boats and I have a feeling there has to be a sailing club over there so let's keep moving so recently I've been doing uh, lots of ambience videos uh, they're usually three to four hours showing different places uh, in Toronto and they're 
just like you know fixed video staying at one place uh, featuring the noise of nature the city traffic city ambience rain ambience a variety of videos and I'm planning to come to Toronto Island for the future one or several videos showing the Toronto skyline and other places so you can see that there is a field here and some Canadian geese they are looking for food and the island is totally empty so Toronto Island is actually made of a few islands I think 15 or something like that and you can all these islands are connected so you can walk there from one to other and or you can bike from one to other I think walking is gonna be too much because I'm just in one part of Toronto Island and I kind of feel tiring you know because of walking so best would be to bring a bike so right now I'm going to go to the edge of the shore and then I'm going to you know show you a good view of downtown Toronto you're gonna see a nice, nice skyline and you can hear lots of birds so it's very you know pleasant white noise lots of trees the thing is it feels like you know I have all the island to myself so here another glimpse of the sailing club lots of boats and actually I can take this way and we'll walk on the edge so about a month or so later all these trees they're gonna be alive again so this is the nature's miracle in winter everything dies here for six months and they come to life for the rest of the six months Okay, so let's take a look here. And I heard there's some houses in here. So actually some people live here, but there's no hotel to stay here. But sometimes you may find some Airbnb locations to spend the night or weeks in Toronto Island which I'm planning to do at one point if I find something you know to rent so you're looking at the Toronto skyline so once we pass these trees look at the duck beautiful so once we pass these trees then you're going to see full skyline view across the waters facing downtown Toronto so it's a beautiful view and Toronto is growing because in if you look at the looked at the same view let's say 10 15 20 years ago there are not many skyscrapers and very tall buildings but now the landscapes are changing so here we have a nice view and let me just get a little closer and I'm going to show you right here the water is actually very clear you know I'm surprised you can see even the 
bottom. And I saw some ducks were like, you know, looking for fish. And that's the Toronto skyline. And this is really a beautiful view. So my long video, ambient noise video is going to be facing the skyline with nature sounds. For that, I'm gonna have to visit here another time. So today I just came here to like, you know, get a feeling of the island and know where to place my camera for the next time and just get acquainted with everything. So I'm going to have to come back a few more times to finish the whole ambient sound project and more work videos. So the grass you can see here and what you're looking at in front is like restrooms there's no food section here but I saw a similar establishment ahead where I saw a subway and they were open Okay, so looks like we have another beautiful spot to see the full view of downtown Toronto. And you can see that the CN Tower is standing like a king. And the full view or skyline of downtown Toronto. And I can see some you know, far away, I can see some cars or vehicles on Gardiner Expressway. And actually, if you look very closely, you can even see the street car on the other side. But it looks really tiny, but I can see it. So this is the other side. And... I like those rocks, looks really cool. And you can see the waves slapping on the shore, making pleasant, pleasant noise. So let's keep walking. So this is just a part of Central Island facing downtown Toronto and I'm not sure yet what's on the other side. I'll try to have a glimpse today and we'll see how far I can go and I see some Canadian geese they're looking for food moving these ducks are very colorful the head is dark green So the noise you're hearing, that's actually plane taking off from the Billy Bishop Airport, which is located in the middle, in the heart of downtown Toronto. So they have lots of chairs here and there to sit, which is really good. So whenever you feel tired, you can just, you know, 
have a sit or rest a little bit and let's have another look looks like we have a very good view here And what you're looking at right now, actually that's the ferry dock. That's where the ferry comes. And I'm not sure you're gonna see a ferry coming, but if we get lucky, then we might, you know, see something. I think they run every hour. So the two-way ticket to come here, uh, return and come back, I mean, uh, come and back is, close to eight dollars and some change so you have to purchase that online I, I believe you cannot purchase now from the counter because of covid and then when you enter you have to just show them the scanned ticket which you would receive via email so there, there's a bike trail here you can you know bike from one island to another island or you can even walk but it sounds like to me that walking is going to be difficult to do because it's a really long walk I see lots of birds here and there so we have another bridge coming up and there's some waters there oh this tree looks like really cool So it looks like they have a theater, but it doesn't look like operational. And it looks old. So I'll stop on top of the bridge and you know just show you around. Okay, so here's the ferry dock. The water is very clean. That's very surprising. And then let's look on the other side. It's a really pleasant place to stay, you know, sit back and relax and do nothing and un unwind, get rid of all the stress and everything. And the best part is, you know, there's no one here. So they have some paid binoculars here. You can see downtown Toronto. And let me see how much are these. So it's $1 a single time and $2 a double time. But I don't see the mention how much time the Here, 
I'm not sure what are these pink I'm sorry orange stuff is but it could be just light uh, probably at night it looks it, it would look very good I see that ferry is coming, so if you take a look here, then you can see that it's coming. And by the time I finish the video, most likely I'll be able to show you a closer view. So basically here, you get off when you you know get off from the ferry and this is the entrance and exit point of Central Island so you can see that thank you for visiting Central Island And they have actually a schedule right here. And then there's an establishment here and there's Pizza Pizza and Subway. Oh, actually Subway is closed. So it looks like the Pizza Pizza is the only food service which is available and the washrooms are pretty clean and we have a clock here and actually it's working and I saw a cannon so I'll just show you around Good morning sir Good morning, how are you? Very nice day so there's a gentleman just said good morning so we have a garden here and I'm going to go close to the cannon and then we'll see if we can get a glimpse of the ferry coming in So this is the gentleman in blue cap who said good morning and so here's the cannon actually it looks like a real cannon at one point now just a history I hear the ferry coming so let me see if you can actually it's kind of too late because the ferry already arrived so I missed the ferry coming in but I can just show you a glimpse of it so here the ferry is just landing You too, thank you. So the ferry has just landed and I'm going to end this video here today. 
So thank you for watching. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.